So it literally has not raced since this race last year. That's one whole year that Paula Finlay has not been on a, an actual race course. So incredible to think she won Challenge Daytona 2019. As you see, the emotion really starting to show on her face now. To think that we fast forward a year and it's still very next to us. So you see what I've been telling you It's nothing like it seems It's what I've been telling you Oh, you'd learn what I mean if you came But the risk are you willing to take Nicest minivan I've ever seen. Oh, I can pick them, can't I? <laughs> <laughs> Leather seats. Rims. Racing. Rims. Racing. Red racing trim. Yeah. Wow, this is impressive. How much extra was this? Oh. How much extra was this? Well, extra doll hairs. <laughs> no, really though. How much extra was it? That was like eighty dollars more total. It's, I don't even, it's Wednesday now. There's no no easy way to say this, but I've been spending most uh, a whole bunch of my time since we got here running around trying to uh, renew my passport. They somehow let me get on the airplane to come down here, but I'm not gonna be able to fly up to Canada with Paula to where Flynn and our van and everything is, unless I get that magically uh, renewed. This stuff happens, I'm incredibly embarrassed. I haven't even looked at my passport all year. Now I'm, I'm at Target. There's a couple of essentials that we need. Yeah. The world is spinning and I'm dizzy staring at the stars. I left the pages in my schedule, but they're falling hard. Find me on your way out, I'll be right here. shit show of a week and why we filmed nothing is Eric's passport was expired that we realized and we realized that the morning we were leaving which was stressful we made it here but now we can't really make it back to Canada to get our dog so we're sorting that out uh, my race suit zipper just busted so I had to get my spare race suit overnighted here thanks to Eric's sister stress that oh yeah me. I also realized my driver's license is expired so if Eric couldn't have made it down I couldn't have rented a car so I was relying on Eric to come to rent a car for me. <laughs> anyway, we got this package, which is exciting. Ho, ho, ho. Purist nice. bottles. Super nice ones. They're, they're like slightly one week late. They're so These cool. These are supposed to be part of the winter collection, but... Oh my gosh, I never. love them. And they're going to match my bike. Got a little like winter 2020 
on there because that's the collection that they're in. So you know how OG you are if you have one of these and someone else has a spring 2021. By the time this video comes out, these will probably have been available for a little while, but right now at this moment, they're new for us. All right, let's go r ride the racetrack. crushed me. 200. It's because my signature is easier than yours. I've only done like 70. It is Thursday. Oh, we had just did the pro briefing. Now we're having to sign a bunch of uh, autograph things that they gave us to in case the age group field that's here wants some autographs from us. It could happen. Um, and we're booking some flights from here to Portland um, just in case my passport doesn't show up in time. We actually booked first class flights because I deserve it. After all of this hecticness, I made Eric book us first class tickets. <laughs> True story. Familiarization, day before the race, the actual the age group race is going on. There's well, a lot of people here. There's a lot of people here, I won't lie. This feels 100% like triathlon in every way.
Honda for literally minutes before they will get in the water and get started with this event. What's your mindset? You know, I've got goosebumps then. I can feel their nerves. I can feel their anticipation. Water start. So all of the athletes right now lining up behind the line. Let's get to Kevin for the start. Ladies, you are in the hands of the starter. The cannon fired, and now jockeying for position. The best women triathletes in the world fighting for a piece of anyhow. Over again, very strong on the bike as well as a phenomenal runner. What's really exciting for me to see is just how big that main group. It, it looks like it's eight deep. And of course, as Kevin mentioned, Lisa Nord, um, Fenella Langridge, uh, Nicholas Spearing, Holly Lawrence, all renowned cyclists. And honestly, it will not be very long at all before they catch Lauren Brandon and also Lucy Hall. And then it will be great to see Paula in a position that she's familiar to on this track. Last year's race, it was Paula and Lisa Norton charging hard to catch the lights. Of time, Paula Finley defending Challenge Daytona winner, now coming on and makes the pass, the aggressive move there. And no looking back. Um, she'll be happy to know that uh, Lisa is behind. Lisa Norton's right behind her because familiar territory to last year's race. Lisa Lisa Lisa. Lisa. And Paula Finley, first to put the shoes on and start the run portion of the triathlon here. That was executed to perfection by Paula. We haven't got to see. We, have never, we haven't had an opportunity to see how she's going. This has been no racing. I mean, that's why I was a little hesitant to say Paula is a favorite because I just haven't seen her out there performing. In, a, in an actual so race. literally has not raced since this race last year. That's one whole year that Paula Finlay has not been on a, an actual race course. So incredible to think she won Challenge Daytona 2019. As you see, the emotion really starting to show on her face now. To think that we fast forward a year, this is our very next race. <laughs> She's looking back again right. just in case. Just in case. <laughs> And emotions overcoming her now as she knows what she's accomplished. She has stayed focused for so long and she comes down the final run here. Cannot believe it. And she will be the 2020 PTO champion of Challenge Daytona. Paula Finley from Canada wins again. Well, that was a truly spectacular finish, a truly spectacular race from swim through the bike to the run. I cannot fault that race at all. Wow. Alright, we're here at the site of where we did our post-race interview last year, one year to the day. On Daytona Beach. At Daytona Beach, world's most famous beach. I don't know if we'll do our the little wrap up here, just because it's super windy and stuff, but we are gonna go for a run. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> one of us can stop, one of us won't stop.